What did Charlie Sheen install in his Malibu al abode? Al abode, wow. <laughs> Malibu abode to speed up trips from his upstairs bedroom to the living room. A chairlift. Nope. A fireman's pole. What? That's fucking cool. Okay. Charlie Sheen got Charlie Sheen, yeah, yeah. Winning. I, I, I think chairlift sales went down after the movie Gremlins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But fireman's pole sales went up after Ghostbusters. <laughs> gotta get this. I need a three. Suck it, Murray. Yeah. And I get a two. Thank you very much. I get a and, uh, and his wild card. card. Again. Who directed the film Get Out from 2017? Get Out. Oh, um. Oh. Jordan Peele. Yeah. One. Nice job. He also directed Us. Not us, the Factory Boys, but the movie. I, I think they got it. Yeah, yeah, they got it. I think they, yeah, you don't have to. What's the wedge count? Uh, one, 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 zero. Zero. Hi. Me and Sean both, are, one, both got one, it one. in the first turn. Yeah, wedge club. Three. Oh, now I get a three. What dictator always missed deadlines after William Randolph Hearst commissioned him to be a columnist? What? Two dictators spring to mind, Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. Don't get here right here, though. He wasn't Don't really. Get he wasn't. <laughs> I like to say uh, Benito Mussolini. Get work. <laughs> God, he gets the shit kicked out of him by Captain America, and then he basically gets the shit kicked out of him by Randolph Hearst. How? <laughs> right? I always I guess never do wrong. That. I never do that. I know a little bit about William Randolph Hearst. That's wild. Go roll. All right. Roll it. I'm sorry, Sherrod. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> purple Wedge. Two, three, Purple Wedge, and that is the 90s. That's fucking horse. Actually, it's the 80s. 80s, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, it's music. Music. Okay. Oh, man, music. if only this was Jared answering this. Damn Why? it. Why? Because it's cause music. What Hall and Oates song title had millions mistaking the word list for lips? Your kiss. Kiss on my list. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you were you were in the ballpark, obviously. Yeah. Delete! 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 Ah, yeah. Oh! Okay, I just saw Matt already in uh, Charlotte. He looks great. He looks good. I got three! Why? This is the greatest game ever! We're gonna swap yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. The year is 1991. Great! Okay. What one-time Harvard drug guru confessed <laughs> that at the age of 72, got high on senility? Jesus! <laughs> I'm getting high on senility! Oh, man. Hey, Jared, do you want me to put the pizza in? You know what? I, I'm not really feeling for pizza right now. Oh, just How about man. you? Are you feeling for... feel like having some pizza? I could go for some. Okay, then Whoops. yeah, go ahead and throw it in. I might be in the mood later. I on senility. I don't know any Harvard drunk. I am so high on senility. Do you know anything about it. senility? I'm feeling senile right now. Jared will only be in the mood if he's away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. Okay, keep getting all these bullshit questions. In 1991, this Harvard guru, Harvard one-time Harvard drug guru. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> this is better than the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're having fun here. I'm having a great time. Yeah, I'm having a blast, man. Man, this is what we have every year. This is it. This is all we got. This and ourselves. Cheers to you. Yeah. Salute. I don't... I'm drawing a total blank here. You say something. Shout out a name, a Rolf one. Hitler. Yeah, yeah, Hitler's been the answer to two of them so far. Third time's the charm. He <laughs> really, <laughs> really has. Like, what's going on? Just say um, Stuart Masterson. Mm. Timothy Leary. Oh, okay. No clue who that is. Okay. I was really hoping it was mom, but I said... God damn it. That All wasn't right. for a wedge. I yeah, know, no, but yeah, still, no I would like to get a question, question, question right. Yeah. Well, I did get one question right. Unfortunately, it wasn't for a wedge. Yeah. Okay, you got the Hitler question right. No, he didn't. Oh. No, I did. He said, he said Mussolini. Oh, he, no, no. I Hitler was, was the actual answer. Yeah, I know, but no, I was. Mussolini. I said it was either Hitler or Mussolini. Those were the two Mussolini. dictators, and I said the wrong one. What? It's my first roll again. Eight. Oh, back in the center.
It's what what color would you challenge him for? Oh, uh, 25th anniversary, and I'm going to challenge for green this time. This is science nature category, and <sighat> where is your pineapple tra- under the sea? The SpongeBob. Where is your tragus? I think that's how you pronounce it. Tragus. Where is your tragus? Oh my butt. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Show me what. <laughs> I'll, I'll say my glutes. Nope. Near your ear. Oh, okay, cool. Guys, which bathroom club? Bathroom. Which bathrobe clad actor utters the classic line, the dude abides? That would be uh, Jeff Harris. Daniels. Jeff Daniels is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Ah, oh, fucking wrong Jeff. I got the wrong Jeff. So did we, so did we a time ago. We had the wrong Jeff all along. Oh well, my! But... I mean, just you know. Two guy, fucking damn Benny. <laughs> just blast the word disappointment all over Chuck's <laughs> And that's one of my favorite fucking movies too, man. Is it? Fucking hell. Apparently not. <laughs> the dude does not abide by that. Oh, what a moment! That's there's your moment for the tenth annual right there. One or five. <laughs> Two. At least it wasn't a wedge. Eh. One. All right. Uh, one and one. And I'm going for orange. Founded in 1901 in Springfield, Massachusetts, what was America's first motorcycle company? Oh my God. The only one I think of is Harley Davidson. Yeah, so I'll too. just go with that. Indian. Indian. I've never heard, I've never heard of them. Oh. Indian for the longest time was Harley Davidson's con- greatest uh, uh, com- uh, competitor. Indian Jared didn't know that he disgraces people. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even Indian yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> what? One, <gasps> one, two, one, one, five, one, five, one, five, two, one, three, five, one, three, one, five, one, three, one, five, one, three, one, five. Five! Hey, you! Yeah. Actually, that's good. I think that's One, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's good, yeah. And I'm going to challenge for a purple wedge. Uh, Roll again. Yeah, question yeah. number five. Which U.S. state did the creators of the award-winning musical The Book of Mormon hail from? Utah, New York, or Colorado? Colorado. Correct. South Park. God damn it. Ah. So, Purple Wedge. I was hoping he would have said Utah, but obviously he knows who created it. Come on, man. Trey Parker, Matt Stone. No, you come on. You come on to hell. Chuck with two wedges now. The game's six. getting bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. The game is getting really bad. Category three. Ah, oh, son of a should we have 90s instead? <laughs> it's my holiday salami. Yeah, it is. Wait, it's like, what did Operation Desert Shield become on January 16, 1991? And Desert Storm. Yeah, okay, cool. So take that out. Movies. What father and son actors played Carl Fox and his son Bud in Wall Street? Um, Michael and Kirk Douglas. Incorrect. <clears throat> Martin and Charlie Sheen. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah. The other actor. Yeah, <laughs> the, the other one. That is the second time yeah. you've done this, but it wasn't as flagrant of a foul as Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, like, you know, Jeff, yeah, Jeff Bridges is like, you know, like, I'm gonna cut open the motherfucker. Yeah, Six. the dude's not gonna buy for much longer. One. <laughs> oh, man. Some, Some things, things never change. change. What 469 mile road, known for its beautiful scenery, runs through North Carolina and Virginia near the Appalachian Mountains? I will punch you if you don't get this. Oh, wow. What 400? What 469 mile road, known yeah. for its beautiful scenery, oh, travels man. through North Carolina and Virginia near the Appalachian Mountains? I will punch you if you don't get this. You know it, but you're fing blank. All right. Do you, you know? You probably don't. I'm gonna say uh, I-95. Come over here. What mm. is it? Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm. Yeah, I did not know that. Actually. Yeah. It wasn't for a wedge anyway. Punch. I shall picture myself punching you, and that shall be as cathartic. <laughs> I will punch you. Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah, yeah. I, like I was gonna know that. <laughs> Just because I don't have obscure knowledge as much as somebody around here doesn't. I've lived in North Carolina my whole damn life. Fucking four. Well, good for you. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Actually, yeah, that's been two thousands. I hope we get another one. We we, we had a blast out moment pretty much. We already did. What horse does Alec Ramsey tame when he's shipwrecked on a des- desert island in a popular novel? Uh, oh come on, Black Stallion. Uh, Black Beauty. 
He no. just told you the answer. The Black Stallion. What? <laughs> Except Black Stallion is f***ing Jeff Daniels in this case. Three, four, five, six, seven. And number six, wild card. In Pet Cemetery, 1989, what type of vehicle hits Gage Creed on the highway near the family house? Tractor? Incorrect, mm. a truck. Also okay. started with a TR. That's where it threw me off guard. <laughs> Was Tractor? it truck? Tractor? <laughs> so we're going for 90s. What New York designer made the gown her pal Barbara Streisand wore to wed James Brolin? I'm just going to say, uh, uh, Tim Gunn. Donna Karen. Uh, yeah, DK. Is it multiple choice? No, it's not. I'm terrible with the names. Six. That's all I've been getting. Okay. Yeah, you can all have right. a wedge. All for purple. Question. 25th anniversary, six. All right, what, which influential French novelist was a close friend of Paul Cézanne? Okay, nice. Jacques Cousteau. I'm just gonna say, uh, f***ing Voltaire. Emile Zola. Oh, Zola! God damn it! That's you my other that French, is? yeah, that's my other French guy. That's really? the only other French, yeah, Emile Zola. Know. How do you, I, where I, do you know him from? I just know that name because it's a weird one. It's E-M-I-L-E. -E. Yeah, Emil. Yeah. It's not M-E-M-I-L, which is, is, is what it should be. Why is there an E there? That's silent. Alright. Fucking asshole. There you go. Pink. And it's... Uh, category 2. Entertainment. I might stand a chance. Here we go. One. Entertainment, guys. You don't get this, I'm serious. Oh, will you shut up okay. and <laughs> What's the movie in if John Travolta is Danny and Olivia Newton-John is Sandy? Okay, Grease. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Grease 2. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. No, it's Saturday Night Fever, ass. God gets a wedge. Good job. Finally. <laughs> See, and you said you wouldn't get one. Hour and a half in, you got one. Okay, Debbie Downer. How's this supposed to... It's supposed to be like upside down or something? Yeah, you don't need to fill your rebel ship, whatever you got going on there. <laughs> your hockey puck. My hockey puck. You're a hockey puck. <gasps> you take oh. that back. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, the next wild card. Oh, please let me get wild card. Let me take the fucking grenade. Oh god! Put that at the bottom! <laughs> no, 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 you no, no, put that no, at the bottom. No. No. Shut up, I'm in charge. You put that at the bottom. That's my house. You put that at the bottom. Both of us. It is 50% yours too, Jared. Shuffle the rest. Do not let two DBCs in a row. There was two DBCs in a row. That's like that's like puking on a pile of shit. We ain't having it. Dragon Ball Z. Hell no. Alright. One. Fuck. What politician is credited with popular right? Ah. What politician is credited for popularizing the phrase information superhighway? Ah, oh, damn it. I know this. Well, it's not your question. It's gotta be the guy who said he invented the internet. Uh, Al Gore? Correct. Yeah. Mexcelsior. Member pig is real. <laughs> Super cereal. Eight. Eight. Uh, go to green. Oh, I can? Yeah. All right. Classic. One classic for the or a green Thank wedge, guys. Which famous inventor electrocuted an elephant as part of a series of demonstrations to discredit alternating current electricity? Oh my god. You should know this one, I man! I know, I know. The player with the most valuable stock portfolio wins the game. <laughs> yes, my gatekeeper! <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one it was. I feel Which one discovered alternating currents? Uh, and you get on me for giving clues. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hey, he gives the best clues, all right? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> didn't help you for a like, Still shit, no, it didn't. Which famous inventor electrocuted an elephant as part of a series of demonstrations to discredit alternating current electricity? <laughs> John Cena! Static Axe. God damn it, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Why am I between the two of them? <laughs> yeah, Hitler and Mussolini. When in doubt, Hitler. Oh my god, I'm gonna feel like such a fool. But, okay, so Tes so Edison was the inventor. Yes, Tesla also invented, but he was mostly like the electrical shit. So it's gotta be Edison. Correct. Yeah, okay, thank no, god. His grizzly stunts didn't prove his point, and AC is what we use today. Me and Chuck are tied at two. Well, hey, you'll be taking away the, uh, the, the DBC wild card. Oh, he, oh! 
Oh yeah! Thank God! Okay, one, two, three, four. Wild card is DPZ. I will die from this fucking grenade. Not two in a row, I'm sorry, but that was bullshit. I'm sorry you read all the way up to like partway through the Frieza saga. I know, right? I barely know Kindergarten no, I mean, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I barely know Frieza. I barely know, know, Pre so I barely know so Fetus. <laughs> Chuck, are, are you mad at me for uh, changing out that second card? Kind of. <laughs> put, put, put it back. Put it back. No, 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 put it back. No, 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 Oh my god, I actually know that. What do Sensu Beans do? I'm pretty sure I know what that means. Sensu Bean, uh, I want to say revives. Brings you back to life. No. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it? I don't know. Should it count? Because it says return whoever eats one back to full power. Okay, so no. Does yeah. that, is that kind of like reviving? No. no it's revive, not. The, the it's way not. I know, bring it back to life. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, like. Yeah, it's only fun. Dragon Balls can bring people to life. Yeah, Dragon Balls are It gives you gas. I think Axel's correct. It gives you gas. <laughs> find an orange card somewhere. Fine, fine. Just find an orange card and put it back. Alright, even if he gets it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Well, you got your wish. Yeah. Yeah, well. you didn't even have to use a Dragon Ball no. Yeah, well, I'm, oh, wait, this, this I'm, is you. I'm, I'm playing fair. I play fair. You okay, can't good. play fair around Chuck. I know. Look where it gets us. The champ is here. He For the yeah. third year in a row. Yeah, go f yourself. And he wins. Yeah! yeah. Albuquerque. Winner. Winner. winner, winner, chicken dinner. I am time champ. What's the horse for so? Okay, this is your one DBC for the night. Enjoy it. This is all you're getting you don't because. Know this. No, every time a DBC card, because I just helped you, every time a DBC yes. card comes up, we're throwing it in the garbage. <laughs> How does Shin say the wizard Babadi? Babadi. Babadi. Thank you. Is able to control others without having physical strength. Uh, he uses his magic. A little more specific. What does his magic uh, allow? What What does it do? What Mind control. It? I don't think so. I mean, no. Okay. It, so. it allow It allows him to harness the evil in people's hearts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. He was okay. able to do that to Vegeta. All right. So you got your DBZ and you <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Which means Are you happy? I do not feel fing bad. Okay? Four, I gave eight. you back your DBZ. I was a good man. What? Pink. I'll take the lead. Which British musician wrote a letter to Prince asking for his support in creating a performing arts school in Liverpool in the nineteen nineties? Oh, Liverpool. I mean the one that comes to mind for Liverpool is um well, it's either either McCartney or Ringo. Um the one of the Beatles. I, that doesn't sound like something McCarty would do, though. He's kind of a dick. Is he really? He was a knighted for being a dick. Uh, uh, yeah, but anyone can be knighted for being a dick. That's not too far <laughs> off. Right! Look at Prince Andrew. I'll just say McCartney. Correct. Yeah! Um, it opened with Dear Princely Person. It was auctioned in 2016 for over $14,000. Jesus. So, right. Pink Wedge. Pink Wedge. Pink uh, Wedge. I somehow, Wedge. I somehow have the lead right now. He knows his... Yeah, I know my Beatles. Be Eatles. Be Eatles. The and Be Eatles. Of course, again, and of course you can't remember, you can't forget Eric Carr, the uh, the fifth Beatle. <laughs> I, I was that's thinking Peter I was thinking Peter Best, but that's Kiss. No 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 Peter Best was the Beatles. Uh the other one I think was Kiss. Mm. That oven's gonna be preheated forever. Might as well it's running off of electricity and it might run up our bill. Yeah. You wanna just like turn it off the oven? I'm gonna go put the pizza in actually. I'm feeling pizza, how about you? Alright, go ahead. Yeah. Alright, five one minute guys. Pizza and Wow, Google is having a field day. Pete Best, Eric Carr, the possibilities are endless. Man, this is a thick ass pizza. You're a thick ass pizza. Well, thank you. Alright. SpongeBob make the pizza? You did. Okay, let me uh, make sure. The crap pizza is the pizza of the Diddly. Big pizza. Crusty Crab! Alright, what is the title? Wow. <laughs> what is the title of symbolist writer Charles, Charles Baudelaire's monumental collection of poems? Baguette Tales and Other Stories <laughs> by Charles Baudelaire. The Fleur de Mal. Fleur de Mal. I like Sammy's. I can write poetry. <laughs> that would be Sean's title. That would be. The title of your monumental collection. And I can, man. When I was a teenager, I used to write great poetry. Six, five, six wild card, oh. and I'm going to go for... Where'd that Pink DPC West. come from? I just I just shuffled it. Shuffle it back! You motherfucker! We did 
shouldn't have shuffled it. You should have left it the way it was. It was an SNL question afterwards. Oh, okay, okay, fine, anyway. fine, fine, fine. Give me the DBZ. He's gonna get either one right. Might as well burn this ass, ass hat card. What were we gonna supposed to burn it anyway? What? Yeah, go put it in the fireplace. <laughs> put it in the incinerator. Yeah, put it in the oven with the pizza. Actually, the no, the next question would have been Star Wars. Oh my god, wild card's awful. Shuffle it. That's why I was shuffling it because shuffle it again. Because it was all shuffle the next order. ones were gonna be like SNL and uh, DBZ anyway. Where's the Harry Potter questions? This Somewhere is in the frick there. The oven's been on for the last hour. Let's throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there are any Harry Potter in here. Uh, which one? I, I think, think it's all just Star Wars. I have some, some Harry Potter Star in there. Wars and sports. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Harry so, Potter I'm starting to suspect. How, how, how many? How many? Three? Yeah, yeah, really. I you can't see them anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Is this a fucking needle in haystack situation? You put like one. Cardo, here you go, 20 DBCs, one Harry Potter. Enjoy, fuckers! Okay, okay, there's like a couple right here. Thank God, put them at the top. <laughs> I'm gonna go for uh, Pink Wedge. What is Raditz, not credits? God, what did you say? It's like credits or something on here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What does Raditz say was Goku slash Kakarot's mission? Uh, to, uh, uh, to take over Earth. Incorrect, actually. Uh, to terminate all life on Earth. Okay. According to this. But yeah, it's, it's rad, it's not credits. It's like credits or something on your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 that, that, that's, that's, who, that's what he thought uh, Goku's Saiyan name was. Oh, credits. Yeah. <laughs> Kakarot. Oh, uh, okay. Ka yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, uh, DBZ yeah. Kakarot came out and uh, it was like, hey, hey, check it out. That just bought Dragon Ball Z credits. <laughs> yeah, really. What? Actually, in Jared's case, it would be debits. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Okay, let's see. Five. One, two, three, you can go to the center. Four, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Chuck. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> you, man. It's classic. It started so nice. Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, fuck you. Which bird's extinct relative, whose bones were found in Antarctica, stood as tall as LeBron James and weighed about as much, too? What the hell? Yeah. I'm LeBron James, and when I'm at Simon Don'ts, I love forgetting to breathe and then dying. <laughs> <laughs> Did it also forget how to breathe and die? <laughs> LeBron James is a bird? Hey, he was a Looney Tune. Yeah. He's not so a as tall as LeBron yes. James, and LeBron is like, what, six? I'm not telling you. Yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. hint. Whoa! Sorry you all had to hear that. Pigeon. Nah. Penguin. Mm. Oh. I was gonna say the dome. Dubbed the colossal penguin, it stood two. It stood six feet eight inches tall and weighed two hundred fifty pounds. Yeah. We're all kind of we're all kind of wedged around the uh, center here. Let's see. Let me get out of here. Well, hang on. Yes, birds, there's... mammals. I don't know, Chuck. You tell us. Sparrow. It's a bird. Yeah. A mammal. Oh, mammal. 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 That's not mammals. Birds are birds mammals. Are... Yeah. They are not mammals. Oh, yes, they. they well, I can fit in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question. Yourself, uh, Tribeca. Tribeca! Ah! <laughs> oh, I missed the mating call. 